Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in Southern Victory, playing as the Confederate States of America. So, you might notice, this isn't exactly where we left off, and that is because it is not. I basically had to replay the entire campaign, because when I tried to reload the save, it kept crashing, which was really disappointing, so I spent about three hours getting to the, this point, almost February 1942, but I basically did the same thing. I actually expanded a little further west into Kansas. Uh, we have St. Louis, I actually was able to keep Indianapolis, as well as Cincinnati and Columbus and Lexington in Ohio. I've taken back Pittsburgh, and we drove to the sea last time straight down to Baltimore, which I've done once again here. Now, as you can see on the map, Deseret is gone. I have allowed them to die, which, you know, is not very great. It's probably not a good idea, but you know what? That just means one less enemy when we take out all of uh, North America. So. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Ship-wise, we're doing really, really well. We have almost 300, roughly 300 factories. The U.S. really isn't doing that well. Uh, they got a, quite a few guys there. Their fleet is pretty good. Actually, we should probably continue developing this stuff. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But I'm still building a lot of stuff. I mean, honestly, here's the casualty rate, too. I've taken, actually, fewer casualties while doing even more damage to the U.S. so far. Which is awesome, but at the same time... Uh, France is not looking good. I'm doing better against the U.S., slightly, while the Germans are doing way better against the French, which is incredibly disappointing. I'm kind of surprised I haven't capitulated yet. Regardless, there was the main comment. There's a couple comments from yesterday's video, but the main one, one, main one was that apparently Pittsburgh, in the books, was supposed to be the Confederates' Stalingrad. We weren't able to take it, really, in the end, and get bogged down before the U.S. could really industrialize even further. Well, that's not going to happen. That's absolutely not going to happen. I don't see anything else. I've got, we've got plenty of ships. I've lost a couple ships here and there. I've even lost battleships again. I only have one carrier now. But I am trying to make some heavy ships and way more cruisers. Way more cruisers. I'm already done with the naval doctrine. Uh, yeah, getting the naval doctrine done when you have Texas and any place that has a lot of fuel, too easy. Um, which, if the developers are watching, don't, don't hurt Texas. Don't hurt my Texas. It's just, Texas has a lot of fuel in it, which makes it awesome. And right now, what I'm going to do is, instead of pushing west like we did yesterday, I'm going to go up the coast. I am going to do Patton's March to the Sea. We're going to come from this area around Pennsylvania to, yeah, literally just Pennsylvania. March all the way up north around New York State and encircle, if possible, encircle and destroy New York City. That's a goal. This is big goals, big aspirations. We don't like little aspirations. But, uh, big aspirations. Take you off, then come up straight up to there. Take you two more off. Come straight up to there. We're gonna go all that way. Just go ahead. Courtney Hodges, you're doing a great job. Ah, the Mark III picket. I love it. I love it. Am I still doing this? I, I haven't even gone down desperate defense yet. Are we still... Ooh, we're not mobilizing anymore. That is not ideal. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just stick with desperate defense then. That's 42 already. I need to get some of this. I don't have enough support equipment either. Yeah, I really don't. I, did, I think I did put recon on our guys, though. Uh, go ahead and upgrade them. That's fine. Infantry. Also, as you can see, I made my cavalry brigades. Actually, just armored cars. And we've got more than enough armored cars. Well, for now. To help, you know, occupy or, you know, pa pacify these areas for now. I may need a few more horses here, though. There you go. I should have all just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, all we're missing are medium tanks. Cool. Actually, I'd really like to see how much... It of a naval force these guys have, and just go ahead and send the infantry in with them. Another encirclement. Please, please, please. Because if we can take out the north, a good chunk, not all, of the northeast, the coast, then that just means that uh, we take more factories and they can't do anything about it. The U.S., if you can, if you plan yourself carefully enough with this stuff, uh, please stop attacking that way. Let's come up here through there, and then do something like that. Get to New Jersey. You can. Um, you can... You can have way more factories in the USA, which is awesome. It's really weird that the South can industrialize industrialize way faster than anyone else here. Come to Newark. Uh, yeah, and then Newark. Good. Keep them. Keep a lot of pressure on this area. And we have this technically, the capital, surrounded. Awesome. All right, Canada. Thanks for popping up finally. The Canadian provisional government declares war on the USA. I think so. Good. Do we need anything else here? No, there's no one else we can add there. Cool. We're still extending private contracts. Siege down New York. Cut these guys off if possible. Go ahead and move in here from Frederick. Good, good, good. 
Help out. Help the attacks. Look at that. Oh god, that is disgusting. Canadian provisional government. That is still a disgusting flag. That's okay. Led by Mackenzie King. Totally have never heard of him. Looks like a generic focus street, which is fine. Yeah, we're not big enough yet, but we are getting there, my friends. We are definitely getting there. I really don't want to take Philadelphia yet. Just because I want everyone else to suffer supply issues. If that's the case. Definitely do it right there. Seek out every single convoy you can find. Because any supplies that can't get sent out from the capital is going to hurt the enemy. Which is exactly what we want. And other than that, support Canada? Sure, let's do that one. As defeated and humiliated, humiliated as we were after the Great War, we should not forget about the plight of our old comrades, Canadians. Since the end of the last war, they have languished under Yankee occupation and oppression and now face the possibility of other culture and history being eradicated by Yankee colonialism. We must not allow this to happen. Luckily, there are numerous Canadian freedom fighters who find the something, something, something. We're sending them guns. Long story short. Oh, it's going to be Convoy Central. Look at that. Yes. The fall of New York. They stood no chance. And look at that. We got even more of their industry. Which is A-OK -okay with me because we absolutely need it. Do that, and then do that. Yeah, taking out the USA, it's not too bad so far in this campaign. Kind of enjoying it, not gonna lie. Kind of enjoying it. Oh. We're gonna do that. That's fine for now. Everything here. Yes. Very good. Hope you're all having a great day. I, with this campaign, basically restarted. I'm doing even better than before. Even better. The Mormons might have gotten taken out. We'll, we'll come back and save them. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we knows. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. The U.S. still has a pretty big fleet here, but we gotta be careful. We gotta be... Oh, boy, here we go. Big battle, big battle. So, we have a carrier, and they don't, and they have a couple of retreating battleships. No, 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 don't let them leave. Well, it's some... their screens. The screens took the hits for them. Oh, my goodness. Now, that was a nice battle. I lost one destroyer in that one. Do you have any upgrades? I may even do all this other stuff, but no, not yet. All right, well, whatever. Cool, head on this way if you can, maybe. Go the way down here, perhaps. Oh. Oh, okay. They sent a white piece. Oh, boy. Uh, are you guys still. No? You guys are. Are you guys done fighting? What did you. White piece. Charles it. Charles? Who are you? The 11th? I guess the Entente lost against them. God save the king. Um. I guess. Oh boy, France is lost, so we'll see what happens with that. At this point, we might just be able to do a general attack across the entire front. Yeah. Well, here we go. Okay then. Oh boy, what's going on here? Now oh, I got a couple planes here. Oh snap, that is not good. Get oh, one almost one percent strength for that group. Now we lost two destroyers. Send in the car. Oh, the carrier's going to hit. Oh, that's not good. Ooh. Everyone, go ahead. Just go home and repair for now. Philadelphia is completely surrounded. Oh yeah, we we couldn't bomb them. Hmm, that's not good. Turn you guys up this way. News. Um. Okay. Very cool. Retreat. Charles de la ascends to the presidency in the U.S. He seems quite young. Oh, boy. Oh, look at that hair. Holy cow, Charles. Uh, oh, yeah, we still need more support equipment. Nice, we still another battleship. Good. Even though I know we're losing stuff, too, which really sucks, but whatever. There's not much I can really do about that right now. Here, naval bombers, throw these on the, into the water. Oh, that range is such trash. Holy cow. Good. Go, go, go. I was going to split the U.S. up, but, uh... Doesn't seem like we really need to. I mean, I almost did get a peace deal earlier. Like, I took a chunk of... Like, a good chunk of Ohio very quickly. But, uh... Doesn't look like it's really necessary right now. Nice. Cool. Three, two, one, please. I'm going to do some passive defense. Maybe. Come on. The game definitely got a little bit laggier, but whatever. We have some positive? No? Okay. Cool. The fall of Boston, they stood no chance. The Coast Campaign is doing exceedingly well. Holy crud 1.6 million versus our... 
200,000? Ah, oh, there goes Canada. They just capitulated. Or they puppeted. They were puppeted. That is... Why? You literally isolated them all straight up to the north. That is a little amazing. I'm not going to lie. That's a little amazing. But, uh... Wow. Really all i got to say is just wow. Oh, man. We lost quite a few ships, haven't we? Go ahead and take that off. Everyone, go ahead and repair for now. Subs, good luck, but... I'm not really too worried about it, since we're doing exceedingly well. Shockingly well. Like, I made encirclements before. Like, you see all those casualties. They are just dying now. Oh, they're making a few more divisions. Uh, I mean, this is great. I mean, it's a little surprising to see how well we're doing already. But, hey, this is great. I don't care what type of piece we're going to get, too. And we're almost done with our air doctrine, as you can see, as well. Which is nice. Foreign policy, guarantee New Zealand, sure. Support Canada, well, we did. Cool, let's come back over here. Uh, new war taxes. I guess we could try that, you know. Wars cost money, and as such, we must levy additional taxes on the populace to fund the war. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, war bonds. Eh, sure, why not? We can keep building up a whole lot of stuff here. I've been building up a lot of infrastructure, too. There you go. And I'm joining here with my cat, Pinky. Beautiful animal. Japanese Philippines. Well, that's not good. Uh, China's owned by Japan. Um, I really wonder, did this do anything? Oh, he looks handsome. Friedrich V. Dylan V. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is... This is something. We almost have Chicago, too. And that's, that's the capital of uh, the U.S. Spymaster? Never mind. They stood no chance. Once you take the coast, especially Pennsylvania, New York, New York City, um, their ability to defend is still okay, but not, really not that great at all. I mean, we took Chicago. Oh, we need a line over here. Come on, guys. Keep moving up here. If we can capitulate Quebec as fast as possible, that would be really good. Volksturm, yeah. Non-discriminatory policy. I actually started my land auction a little bit late. I forgot about it. Not gonna lie. I did forget about it. Take in quarter million versus one and three four three quarters. Yeah. One and three quarters million. Milwaukee. Chicago's actually really close to Wisconsin, huh? Never knew that. I kinda did. Never really thought about it though. Good, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. And I'll send you guys back down here to push up this way. To, through the mitten. Come on, the French are over there. are trying to get down there at least. Go, go, go. I just don't think they can do much more after this. Yeah, our intelligence isn't as good now, but... Their casualty rate... They, we're just taking their territory at this point. Uh, I got plenty of garrisons, which is nice. New war taxes seem kind of good. Seize war materials. Given the recent developments that we have found ourselves in, and our lack of many vital materials, we will have to seize vital materials from the populace. Oh, yeah, god dang. We need so much support equipment. Why do we need so much? Also, let's do this real quick. I'm still using light tanks literally in this uh, division, so get rid of them. Yes, I will take... Oh, we're out of towed artillery. Oh, that's not good. Towed artillery and armored cars, huh? Where's my... There it is. Let's go and do this. Good. What are you making that we're not using? Oh, lighting twos? No, we use them for recon, don't we? Go and throw on a lot more calories. I think we've got the guns for it, so... Or at the very least, we should. Nope, we don't. Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, wait, we can do this as well. Nice, very nice. Tanks are down here. They've gone over here. Great. Alright, so we might need to stop attacking for now. That's going to stop attacking. Uh, even if we're winning in a few places, go ahead and just stop. Hang out. I need the tanks to move quickly. 
Come back to Chicago, make sure they can't do anything. Frank... Frackfort. Not Frankfurt. Frackfort. Good. Come on, get in, get through. Defend in for now, doing okay. Uh, how many are we out for armored cars? That definitely helped our armored cars. Not really help. Didn't really help our armored guns at all, but whatever. Mm. Cool. Texas is very developed. We'll say very, very developed. Okay, we don't need all that. Field hospital twos are very nice. Uh, did I put maintenance companies on our tanks? I did. That was a smart idea. Oh boy, they want to loop themselves out of here, huh? Good. Finish these guys off. Good. Get through them and come up through Canada. Split the U.S. in two. From away from the rest of these people over here. Nope, we good. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. Awesome. Reach north. Oh, you actually have to go around like that. Okay. That's cool. If that's the case, I'm going to actually send you guys all the way over here. Just focus on this side and just kill them off. So, I don't really understand why you can't come over here. I think... It should be during the 40s. That, during that that area. There was... The bridge to Canada, probably? I don't know. Given our need for funds and the cooperation's abundance... Of them, we will force them to give loans to the government, which we will pay back plus interest. Isn't that what happened historically with a, a certain national dude that might have been a little bit of more socialist? I think that sounds very similar to what he did. Hmm. It's almost like this, this timeline is trying to draw parallels. Forward interception, very good. Nice, almost done with that. Radar, sure, why not? I still can make nukes, which really doesn't make any sense, but whatever. As long as we've got the tanks doing the good thing over there on the left, or get the east, really. Third of a million versus two million. Oh, they're so close to capitulating. So close. They're really weak. Now, we're not really that strong right now, but uh, they're pretty weak. We need a lot more guns and artillery pieces and armored cars and medium tanks. San Francisco's their capital now. Yeah, actually, might be the win right here. Yeah. Good, good, good. As long as Patton leads the way. I mean, Jesus Christ, this is amazing. Go ahead and move up north. You'll be fine. Job tanks, uh, go ahead, hold and just do what you need to do, man. Oh, we actually kicked, the, kicked them this way, huh? Good. Oh, yeah, they can't do anything. Destroy Quebec. Very good. Oh, wow. We're making tons of guns every day, which is awesome. So just me in the United States. That's all I have to kill is the U.S. I don't know what happened here. Like, why did they peace out? Makes no sense. Why are you so tall? Why does Bulgaria own this? There's so many questions. Why are they still not fighting? So Serbia's by itself. Romania's still here. So many questions unanswered. I have no idea. Another one? Sure. Jesse. I don't even want to send our spies into the United States for now, just because we're, they're almost done. You know. Force loans, very cool. Help push them back. Can't do total war because we're not surrendering at all. We're actually doing very extremely well. Uh, the CS Navy would be a waste. New cast projects. Close air, close air support is very important to the modern battlefield in our aviation industry. Having advanced as much as it has can improve the quality of the planes. Very good. Nice, help them out. Would we be able to take Denver right now? Maybe. Oh yeah, we will. Is that gonna be enough? Probably not. They need we need six percent more. Then we'll get some sort of peace deal. Oh! Oh! 98, just go ahead, everyone. One more attack. As long as we just like take two more tiles or something, we're just gonna win. Which is awesome. I already have those guns, which is nice. Beautiful. More tanks? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, yeah, run them over. Run straight through them. 
They're almost done. We're taking almost every major city except for San Francisco, really. Come on, let's get to Quebec. Even more manpower, I love it. Man, we make factories so fast. Can you ma imagine New Orleans having like 100% or perfect infrastructure? I can't. <laughs> I really can't. Come on, you guys got this. Good, you took that tile. Just a little bit more, just give just a little bit more. Can you sneak up to there? That'd be really cool if you could. Good. Passive defense is always nice. And another guy. Yes, Carol. There goes Quebec. You can analyze Utah, I guess. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. Cool. This is beautiful. Mata beautiful. Especially when the enemies don't have enough supplies to do anything. Da, da, da. Hmm. Now, this is the way it originally should have been. Now, we're taking a lot of casualties. Half a million versus 2.4 million. Just 1%. That ain't even like milk. Just 1% more. That's all we need. Fighting all sorts of Haitian convoys around here. New cast projects? How about we do a little bit of improved training programs? The competency of our pilots has wavered since the Great War. The Treaty of Trenton has destroyed our Air Force, but we recently reorganized it. Although we have great planes, they aren't worth a damn. The men flying them don't know how. We will do all we can to rectify this problem by increasing flight hours, live fire exercises, and class lectures. Very, very good. That is disappointing. That is mighty, mighty disappointing that we can't do well right there yet. Hmm. What a shame. That's real nice, though. Alright, so you guys will be fine. I'm sending you guys over to... You know what? This center area could really die. I want to send them to California. Good luck. I'll tell you when to, to march right in. But let's have a good pastime, I guess we'll say. Go. Yep, definitely have to arrest them. Uh, Kingdom of Egypt. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like, why did they peace out? I mean, like, the UK still owns that. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, our allies... So are we still fighting Serbia, Montenegro? We are. Why? Is it because this guy died? Your daddy died and you said no? Why did Russia peace out? This is very weird. And we've done it, my friends. The fall of San Francisco we got. Nice. They stood. No chance. Now, Japan was in this war as well. I really don't want to give them that much. To be frank with you. Um... Japan, where are you? Honestly, they didn't really do too much, so they can have that one. Uh, Middlebrook. You're gonna have these islands. There you go. That's all you get, Japan. Sorry, I don't really care. Republic of Quebec, I'm just taking it all. Satellite Virginia, huh? Hey, uh, province of Canada. Oh. You know, just out of respect for the Canadians, I'm just going to annex them using this. Actually, before we do that, who, who you live by, Mackenzie King? Cool. Just give me to you, give me all of you for now. Well, we won the war. A new order dawns. Through Confederate military prowess, careful planning, and successful execution of our offensive into the territory of the U.S., we have overrun their lands and reigned supreme over what formerly encompassed other lands. On this day, we may proudly proclaim that the United States of America is no more. We shall establish occupation zones throughout their former lands to kick off this new order. Whoa! Peace with them? Become owner? Um, oh. Is this what I really want? I don't know if this is a peace deal that we really want. I still don't like seeing Russia in America, but we'll see what happens. Oh boy, this does not look good. Surrender the U.S. Following overwhelming swaths of Confederate armies crossing the borders of the U.S. in devastating droves, the U.S. Army has become nearly powerless to stop their astonishing advancements into the nation and, as a result, have formally surrendered to the Confederate States of America. Today at 7.38 a.m. to the armies of infamous General Patton. Oh. His, him and his march to the sea shall be remembered in history books forever. At this display of inferiority, most other armies across the nation have thrown down their weapons and surrendered to the Confederacy. Once more in less than a decade of each other, in a few decades of each other, the USA has surrendered to the Confederate States of America. The Union is dead. Oh my goodness, this is... This is weird. This is very weird. Um... Here, go do that one. Well, Drew Dernil did it. He did it for us. What a great guy. 
Uh, let's see what we got. So we have the Central California. Let's see. West Coast Occupation Zone, led by George Marshall. Great Plains Occupation Zone, led by Arkumer, Hank Coomer. We have Deseret, which doesn't have this part of Nevada, whatever. Led by Her Heber, Mass Assault, okay. Uh, we own that for now. We actually really stretched out quite a bit more. Uh, Great Plains, of course. The Great Lakes, led by Lucian Truscott. We're still fighting Haiti. Uh, and Georgia's Patton is leading the East Coast Occupation Zone. And we own that as well. Wait, what do we have? Uh, I guess you get your freedom, too. That's really disgusting. That's actually really disgusting, Confederate States of America. Uh, mm, okay, well. Advanced cent Centrometric Radar. Cool, I guess. Do I Why are we still at war with these guys? Serbia? I don't want to fight Serbia. I don't want to fight Montenegro. That seems really boring. Um, Well, this has turned out to be very, very interesting. I'm glad we won. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get to, like, change hands territory anymore. I mean, maybe not, really. Uh, historically, like, Missouri makes sense to be kind of more of a core of the South, like, at least a boot, in my opinion. Other than... Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, this this whole portion. Yeah, there it is. The Missouri spike is there. Good. good. But this part, mm, I don't know. This part is still pretty southern the last time I went down there. Uh, I just don't know what happens after this. Now, this mod is still in development, and I'm going to act like this is, like, the final episode of this campaign, just because it probably is. Uh, Duluth is... Huh. Duluth is over there. Is that what they say, the Duluth Trading Company? Huh. Regardless. This was actually really fun. This was a ton of fun. I There's really nothing else in our focus tree really to do. Um, we've won the war. We didn't even have to do total victory. Uh, Yeah. It was actually surprisingly easy as a Confederate. I would, I was expecting a, quite a bit more difficulty, but you know what? When you use tanks and you have enough, I guess, planes, and the enemy doesn't really do anything with their navy and do too much with their planes, it's not too bad. Rule of skies, cool. I guess maybe the one thing I would like to see potentially with because we chose the Anton route is maybe there's something a little bit past this, like after the war, maybe. Because right now, I'm not sure why the Entente just pieced out with the Quadruple Alliance, which makes no sense. To be honest with you, I'm not really interested in taking them out right now. Maybe later on in a different campaign. Uh, we didn't get to see New Africa either, which I suppose will rise up once we... Uh, if we have enough communist support, that they will rise up eventually. I'm going to assume that. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I would like just to see a little bit more. Eventually, of course, if they're dead, dead watching. Like... Once the war is over, what do you do? Like, what occupation zones do you think would be set up? You know? Or, I mean, we haven't done the Golden Circle path yet. I will do it eventually, as well as do, hopefully, renegotiate Trenton. But, like, post that, I mean, we have a new order for the new world, which looks really, really cool. But, what can we do past that? Can we, like, buy Alaska from the Russians? That'd be kind of cool. I know it's probably not in the, the books, but that'd be kind of cool. You know, take a little ahistorical route through uh, what we think might happen. But yeah, that p the peace deal between Germany and the Entente didn't make any sense. Regardless, though, I guess this is the final episode. If you enjoyed the campaign in its entirety, like I did, consider leaving a like, maybe subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I will see you all tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.